hi guys it's your girl cassie uh welcome back to my youtube channel make sure you like comment and subscribe i also really appreciate your genuine support for the channel today we're going to be talking about friendship and let me actually like this came to my mind the holy spirit brought this to my mind when we look at friendship it's something that is often misunderstood in the body of christ because we just think, oh, we, sometimes we can think that, oh, if a person is Christian, they are automatically the right person to be my friend. And it's like, no, you have to know how to discern people's spirits. I'm not saying, like, just think that, oh, everybody is out to get me or, oh, not, you know, question or think everyone's suspicious. But rather, I'm telling you that friendship when it comes to friendship you have to be discerning because someone's flesh their appearance can look good they can look like a nice person but they could very well be a person who is hurting but projecting like filtering it with hap like with uh ungenuine happiness just to like cover up and you know um but I don't want to get too deep into that. So I have my uh, computer up here. So I'm going to be reading a little bit. I'm trying to see if I can make my computer bigger so I can read it well. But I won't read the whole thing because, I mean, you can read it. What good will that do? But what really, like, as we read this, it's, it's going to seem like a little bit a strange friendship. But let's read from First Samuel 18. As soon as he finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David. Wow, the soul of, see, this is how deep friendship is. You have a soul tie. That's what they're literally saying. The Holy Spirit's literally saying that in this part of 1 Samuel 18, chapter 1, I mean, verse 1, uh, that... Jonathan and David had a soul tie because often when we think soul tie we just think oh it's just if you have sex with a person you have a soul tie that's not true I mean it is true sorry forgive me it's true but it's more than that it's like you have a um soul ties are just like if you're close to a person whatever spirit they have is gonna really transfer to you and it can be, there's good spirits too. So let's not like be like, oh, well, everything's a demonic spirit. No, there's some good spirits. Um, but let's read verse two. And Saul, sorry, I keep scrolling down because I can't see um, on my computer. But, and Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Wow. That's how deep their friendship was, you know? Sometimes we wonder, why can't I get away from this person? Or why do I feel such a strong energy? It's because you've connected with the person. You know, David and what... Um, Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him that much. When Whatever friendship you have, you're entering a covenant. You're entering something that's like sort of like let me search up covenant because i don't want to give you guys the wrong definition uh because i'll be bad so <laughs> i know it's a promise so i'm trying to see if there's any an agreement yes the bible says somewhere can two come together unless they've agreed and the answer is no when you come together with a person you have to agree with them and jonathan and david had agreed you know that they were going to be friends and you know Saul was Jonathan's dad that's why I said this story is kind of strange because Saul was literally hating David so much because he knew that David had whatever spirit Saul had in him knew that David was definitely one of God's favorites and also um or one of God's uh someone who because there's people who are like called to do more so he was jealous of that and he was also jealous that david was a lot 
a lot more talented than he was in a way with singing and everything but i'm not going to get too much into that but what i want to show you through that what we read and we only read like the first three verses is it shows you how strong friendship is i'm only going to read four and five so let me read four and jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was given sorry that was on him and gave it to david and his armor and even his sword and his bow and his belt i'm telling you he gave look at what he gave jonathan gave david everything that shows you that friendship is a serious thing it's not just oh well no friendship is a serious thing it's not like oh well you're you know i don't know how to explain it but it's not like sometimes we treat it as oh it's just a you know every, she's my friend she's my friend she's my friend but it's a serious thing because i just heard like the holy spirit tell me it's gonna be friendships are gonna literally cost you almost everything i'm telling you especially if you want to be best friends with the holy spirit it's gonna cost you everything it's gonna cost you reputation some friendships like friendships in general come with a cost you have to go to their weddings right because i mean <laughs> then what you know I, i've never heard of friends who don't invite each other to their weddings or like graduations there's a cost sometimes they're in financial troubles and you know and david and jonathan had a good one good friendship because jonathan didn't care that saul hated david uh, jonathan really still liked david he and i'm sure some of us can relate to that we maybe have similar stories of that but it's just like wow let's go on to five and david went and was successful Saul sent him so that sorry Saul sent him over the men of war and this was good in the sight of the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants I wish I could show you guys my screen but I'm not that sophisticated yet <laughs> but uh to show you like the verse as I read but look you know this is just amazing like david was a huge success and part of it was he had a good friend like jonathan in his corner you can't do it alone you know god's showing me because honestly i'm not like out there with friends a lot and god's showing me you need to have friends because friends are what's gonna help you and they're gonna like you know Saul could i mean sorry David couldn't have been a great warrior without Jonathan giving him all that he needs. That's why I'm telling you, it's going to take you, like, look, verse, let's, verse four, I didn't even catch this. It says, and Jonathan stripped himself off the robe he was wearing. He literally took off. He was next in line. He really loved David. David was his best friend because he took off his, um, what do you call it he was a prince so he took off his prince attire just for david so that's why i'm telling you it's gonna cost you the best of what you got so let's not take this thing lightly let's not go around calling everybody our friends let's have discernment when and having discernment doesn't mean only because sometimes i think that sometimes we can kind of misinterpret or i have misinterpreted discernment as pointing out oh she's a bad person he's a bad person that's not really what discernment is it's just seeing the spirit behind like the spirit of a person you know and you might be like well how do i have discernment the word of god that's the only way i honestly am getting better at this but it's only because i'm staying in the word of god because if you don't stay in the word of god it's not going to be that easy to you won't like because there's things that look good in, on the outside but you have to be able to look past that otherwise you know you'll be bringing that <clears throat> you'll be deceived yeah that's the right word <laughs> um yeah so i just hope you guys enjoyed this i don't want to keep this too long because i really just want to keep it short and sweet 
And I just want to tell you guys, just thank you. I can never stop thanking you because like Jonathan or like David, I'm trying to tie it all together, but it's not working. But all I want to say is basically thank you and um, have a good day or night whenever you watch this. And, you know, just thank you so much, guys. Bye.